What printer should I buy? What printer should I buy? What printer should I buy? I'll give you my opinion on today's Filament Friday. I get that question a lot. Which printer do I recommend? Well, it depends. How much money do you have to spend? That determines everything. I mean, you got printers down under 250 bucks, all the way up to $1,100 and beyond. You can get printers for $5,000. Then it comes down to is what are you going to do with it and what kind of plastics do you want to print? Are you just printing with PLA, which is easy? Or do you need to print with ABS or some exotic filaments? What are you printing? Are you printing practical prints or are you printing just trinkets and toys? And do you need that precision print or is just a prototype fine? All that factors into what printer you should buy. Now, like I said, you can get one for under 250 bucks and this thing fully assembled, ready to go, prints really good. And there's a whole Facebook community that helps you get through it. They have all kinds of improvements that they've developed for this thing. And that's part of 3D printing as well. You buy a 3D printer, you're probably going to improve it over time. You're going to tune it to the way you like to have your 3D printer run. For example, take this printer right here. $1,100 printer, dual extruders, so I can print two different plastics, two different colors, works great. It's got a nice touch screen and it's enclosed, so it works great for printing ABS. No splitting, no warping, because it's kind of a controlled temperature environment. But what I don't like is it requires these really thin spools, which are kind of hard to find. So I printed these offsets so I could lift the lid, leave a little gap, and now I can put my own filament through that gap, hang it on the wall back here. I'll make some nice mounts at some point. But then I can print with any plastic I want. So there's a modification I made to a $1,100 printer. Now in between the two are the i3 style, which you see everywhere, all over eBay, there's kits. This is the Wanho Duplicator i3 Plus, which is a nice one, it even has a touch screen. I've been using this on the channel, and it's been working great. I've also had the TiVo Tarantula, which is a kit. That prints pretty good. And then there's tons of other i3 type design. They're all started by Joseph Prusa, who created the whole concept. And now he has the new Prusa MK2, which reports are it prints amazing. Oh, I would love to try out that printer. Are you listening, Joseph? And so that one falls in here. Between the $500 and $1,100, the Joseph Prusa MK2 is like $800. And then you got other printers, kits, and stuff, which fall in between these two, under $500 and above $250. So all that plays into what printer do I recommend? Well... I can tell you right now, these three I recommend. If you're just getting started, 250 bucks, great place to start and learn 3D printing. If you want a bigger build area, you're just printing PLA and not many exotic plastics and stuff, 500 bucks for this is worth it. And then we have the $1,100 Flashforge Dreamer. Now this is outside my budget. I have a budget of $500 and under for buying printers. This was donated to my channel by the Amazon reseller and I'm so appreciative of it because I wouldn't have bought this thing. But now that I have it, I love it. It prints beautifully, the dual extruders I love. The fact that it prints ABS without warping and splitting, it's been a fantastic printer. The touch screen, love it. It's just a great machine. So is it worth 1100 bucks? Well, again, it comes down to your budget, but you know, I could buy four of these or two of these for the same price. But this does a really good job. And that it's kind of my point too. If you ask somebody that's got one of these, of course they'll tell you, use this one. If you got someone that's got a Lulzbot or an Ultimaker, they'll tell you, oh, it's a great printer. You should buy one of those. You got to make that decision yourself. And then there's other factors that weigh into it. What technical specs do you want? Do you want a Bowden tube like this where a tube goes down to the hot end or do you want direct drive? And you have to look at what software it will work with. We'll accept pure G code. There's printers that look really nice, like this one, but they lock you into their file format, which means you need to use their software or buy Simplify 3D, which may work with it. You may save some money, but it's going to be a headache down the road. And stay away from chipped cartridges. I've had that experience with some of my early printers. Man, they're a pain. I'd rather just buy filament wherever I want and print with it. So those are other factors you got to weigh when you try and decide which printer to buy. You also got to factor in how well do they print. So what I'm going to try to do is print this. It's the torture test from Angus at Maker's Muse. I'm going to print it on all three of these guys and then we'll compare. This is something you can do too. If you find somebody that has the printer you're thinking about, have them print something for you. Send them a file. Throw them a few bucks and say, could you print this for me? I'm thinking about buying that printer. If they'll print it for you and it comes out good, 
you know where you're at. So let's print this on these three guys and I'll show you how they turned out. Another thing you got to think about when buying a printer is what slicing software to use. Now I use Simplify 3D. This is a premium software, 150 bucks. But there's a lot of free ones out there. But they all do the same thing. They slice the model based on settings that you put in there. Now Simplify 3D I use for all my printers. One interface for all of them. Here I'm going to use the Monoprice Select Mini, the mini one here. And I'm going to use the same settings throughout. And actually I'm using the same retraction settings which ended up working really well. I couldn't believe how good it worked out. I'm printing at a 0.2 layer height, three top and bottom layers, and three perimeter shells. That's the number of lines it does on the outer uh, surface of it. No skirt, no brim. Infill, 20%. And I got this recommendation from Angus. Angus said he used 20%, so that's what I'm using. Now, normally I would print a print like this with supports, but I'm not going to print supports. It's kind of the point. And I did 195 degrees for the filament, and I used the same type, same brand of filament throughout. The cooling, I turned on cooling. Now, this is something else to look for. Some printers don't have a cooling fan, which is ridiculous. For PLA, you need a fan. I printed all of them at 40 millimeters per second, which is actually a little bit fast for the Mini, but that's what I did, to be fair. So I click Prepare to Print, and it's going to slice this guy. And this is what you do, and you learn 3D printing. You learn all those different settings and what works for you. So in Simplify here, I can... You know, scroll through and see how this thing looks. Look for pits or missing spots before I ever waste any plastic printing it. This thing looks good, so let's print it and I'll show you how it turned out. Here's the print on the sub $250 mini. Now, clearly, this needs some work. I need to adjust the speed, probably adjust the temperature, but the cooling to me just isn't sufficient on this guy, so I need to add more cooling, maybe another fan. I've gotten great prints out of this thing, but this one was a challenge. Now here it is on the Wanho Duplicator i3+. Plus. This thing came out really good. Now I had some stringing. I took a hot air gun and just kind of blew it out. It wasn't too bad, but it was, I just wanted that out of the way so I could see how rough the edges were. And there, there were spots where it was rough, but overall it came out pretty good. Now let's look at the Flash Forge Dreamer. And clearly in my mind, this is the best of the bunch. It's not perfect. There's still rough edges, but the very top of this thing is just absolutely beautiful. And this was a first time print. I didn't do any adjustments. I could probably improve it, but this was clearly the best of the bunch. Did I answer your question of which printer to buy? Well, not specifically. <laughs> I hope I gave you enough information to make a decision, but as you can see, I don't know your budget. I don't know what you're trying to do with it, what plastics you want to print, all that factors into it. My idea is just pick a printer that you think is the best one you could find. Buy it. Learn how to 3D print. I could buy, with all my experience, a printer tomorrow, and a month later something new comes out, and I'd be like, ah, oh, I should have waited. That's a better printer. You don't know. you got to just bite the bullet and get into 3D printing. Do the best you can with the budget you got, and then go with it. So that's all I can offer. If you want to see more of what I'm doing at the channel, check out these videos here. Just click on them. We'll take you to it. And if you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month helps keep this thing going. Just click on the Patreon logo right here. So that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.